Would you look at this one here? This is a beautiful car, Camaro, SS, super sexy. Under that hood is a 502 crate motor. Go to volocars.com. That's where you find a price tag on this one and about 200 other classic cars that are for sale. And each one has a monthly finance price as well. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, the body and paint appear to be really nice. It's a metal cowl hood. The gaps are square, flush. It fits right. No dents, no damage, no funny business. All nice, clean. I always talk about the 69 has these really nice body lines over each rear tire. Uh, all nice, clean, right down to the bottom. It's smooth, square, flush. Oh, it opens up very easily. Shuts real nice. No vinyl top, just all hugger orange. No issues here. All the way to the bottom of the quarter panel. All looking nice as a rear spoiler. All fits real nice. I'm looking at the paint too as we go along here and paint's looking really sharp. We'll talk more about that in a minute. But right now I'm looking at the body. Again, all the way to the bottom, all around the wheel well trim. All nice, clean, smooth. Shuts nice on both sides. A lot of times there can be issues right here. There's a factory seam. I don't see any of that going on with this car. This is all nice, clean, smooth, straight. I'm really happy with the body. It's probably why I bought the car. Uh, Hugger Orange, it's polished smooth and glossy. It has a mirror finish uh, paint. The stripes are painted on, they're clear, they're smooth to the touch. You don't feel them at all. I'm sure there is a minor imperfection somewhere. I really didn't notice any. I didn't notice cracking, shrinking, chips, scratches. I'm sure there is something somewhere, but really, it's excellent. So the emblems were replaced as 502, the bumper, the grill, the spoilers, all that looks really great. Correct antenna looks new. Windshields replaced. I have a couple little surface chips on the windshield. All the stainless trim is a 7 out of 10. It's shiny. It's straight. It's not brand new. Door handles look new. As the exterior trim package. That's the louvers, the wheel well trim, and the rain gutters. <clears throat> Marker lights, bumpers, uh, bumper guards all look really nice. There's a little nick in the rubber right there. So the body and paint is killer. Got a nice stance. 17 inch uh, polished torque thrust wheels. They're new, still has the nubs showing around the edges of the tires. Wider in the back, middle performance tires. So yeah, look at that beautiful car. Let's open it up, we'll show you the inside. Okay, do you people know where to put gas in a 69 Camaro? Notice there's no gas doors anywhere on the car. You can leave your thoughts in the comments. So under the trunk lid, the jam, the rubber bumpers, the hardware, all, all of it looks very nice. Inside is really clean, dry metal, neatly spatter painted. The wiring harness, I'm going to guess, is new. It all looks like it's fresh. Uh, comes with some shop manuals, the front license plate bracket. This is the bag that the paperwork came in for the uh, crate engine. All these stickers apply to the engine. Uh, here's some CDs from Chevy Performance. Uh, I think that pertains to the engine. I did not uh, put them in my computer, but that'll all go with the car. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to be notified as the new videos are posted. And don't forget about going right to volocars.com. We have a few hundred or a couple hundred cars for sale with all the descriptions, prices, videos, pictures. Jams are painted nice. Weather strips look real good. Door panels look real nice. There's a little nick on the edge of mine over here. The white interior looks great with the hugger orange. All this looks nice. The wood grain, the knobs, the vents, uh, speedometer, all very nice, clean.
dash pad, real nice. Optional tachometer, and it's the eight grand tachometer. Heater control panel looks like it's been replaced. Uh, also has a retro stereo. It fits right in the factory hole. All nice, clean, fits right. Uh, no, it's missing the ashtray, but it has the lighter. It's an inspection sheet, goes with the car. All nice kick panels. Carpet fits real nice, has reproduction rubber mats. New center console with the gauge pack, the horseshoe shifter, or some people like to call it the staple shifter. It has a complete correct uh, set of seat belts. The white upholstery is very nice. I can't say it's brand new. It's a little discolored. It's a, it's a 7 or 8 out of 10. Still looks really nice. Feels nice and firm, too. The headrests in the back of the seats are nice. Light works in the back of the console. You got the reproduction mats. Seat belts in the back for three people. And all this upholstery also looks very nice. It all fits nice, too. There's a little gentle wear in the white upholstery, but it all fits nice, looks great. Headliner's in excellent shape. Dome light works. Now the visors are a little bit lumpy, a little crinkly. I don't know if someone's tried restitching them themselves is what it looks like. And then it has a new uh, three-spoke deluxe steering wheel. Yeah, looking good inside here. And again, the white with the white stripes and the exterior uh, hugger orange color looks great. This is a 502 crate motor. I verified the casting numbers. We really do our best to represent the cars properly. Uh, it does have the Edelbrock aluminum heads on there. Uh, and up on top, a polished Edelbrock aluminum intake. Dual feed, uh, big holly carb, electric choke, premium fittings and fuel line. Back is a billet distributor, the MSD uh, electronic ignition. There's paperwork for that in the trunk. Got some long tube coated headers. And it has some nice dipsticks and little, little bits and pieces are uh, nice. Big block uh, heater core, firewall, engine bay is all nice, clean, smooth metal. Upgraded with a Ron Davis aluminum radiator, stock shroud. The whole front of the motor is decked out with a serpentine belt, billet pulleys and brackets, chrome alternator, chrome water pump. It has power steering. Yeah, and I'm going to say new wire harness throughout. Everywhere I looked, it, it looks new. So power steering and power brakes. See the new wiring at the wiper motor. The squirters are hooked up. It's all real nice and clean. Michael's going to take you out, show you what she's got. We'll see you in three minutes. Strap on your seatbelts, time to go for a spin here. Oh, I'm really excited. 69 Camaro SS. This one's got the 502 under the hood. So I'm a little excited for this test drive. Automatic trans, beautiful restoration on this. Love the hugger orange with the white racing stripes and the uh, white interior, classic combo. Absolutely can't go wrong. So it does have a really nice restoration. It seems like everything's fresh on it. Uh, handling these bumps real easily here. The steering's nice. I can tell you this is a brand new steering wheel. Got a good grip to it. Power steering, 
power brakes, front disc brakes on this one. Stopping nicely, no problem there. Steering's very easy. <laughs> yeah, let's see what she's got. And just like that, up to speed, no problem. Uh, it does seem like our, it's got great acceleration. Awesome car, absolutely love it. It does seem like our speedometer was bouncing around a little bit, so not a big deal. Probably just needs a cable loop or something like that. We'll have our shop take a look at it. Um, it is a chilly day today, so we do have the heater on and that is working well. Let's see, it also does have a uh, vintage looking digital radio there. Just a nice driving car. Of course, you guys just saw the acceleration. It's just uh, more than adequate on this one. <laughs> and yeah, it's a heck of a lot of fun. If you want to come test drive it for yourself, if you're interested in this car, you're more than welcome to come do so. We're about an hour drive outside of Chicago, about a 30 minute drive outside of O'Hare International Airport if you need to fly in. But yeah, it's a, it's a good car overall. If you feel like you need another, um, if you feel like you need another opinion, you can hire a third-party inspector and send them out also to uh, give you a full report on it. But as I see it, it's a fantastic vehicle. You're absolutely going to love it. And yeah, check out more details of it on volocars.com. So the description I got when I bought the car is, is that it's gone through a comprehensive rotisserie restoration. It may have been on a rotisserie. The underneath is not like concourse, but it's really nice. The floors, nice clean metal. All the components are looking really good. Steering, suspension, looks like it's all been gone through. Uh, has gas shocks. Uh, in back, the suspension, the bushings, all that looks real good. It does have lowering blocks in the spring, some pretty good size one. That's what squats it down, gives it the stance. Sounds weird, you would add blocks to lower the car, but that is how it works. Disc brakes in front, drum in back, e-brake cables hooked up, fuel system's been replaced. You look up at the motor, it's clean Chevy orange, has a high torque starter, uh, flywheel cover uh, looks new. It's a turbo 400 automatic transmission with a nice finned aluminum pan. Uh, 10 bolt rear end with Eaton Posi gears, has a nice aluminum cover over it. So under this car, it looks really nice. Has a fat dual exhaust system. They said it's three inches, it, it could be. It's nice fat exhaust. Get this bug out of here. So go to volocars.com. Uh, that's where you can get in touch with the salesman. Uh, they'll answer whatever questions you have the best they can, including how you're going to get this delivered to your door, how you're going to get it financed. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. <laughs>